So this is a little bit different to what I've been doing on my channel. It's not Counter-Strike focused. It's also not a podcast. Here's what happened. Towards the, the end of March, I was aware that I was going to have no broadcast work. And if you follow this channel, you'll know that that's what I do. I am an esports desk host, mainly for Counter-Strike. And I realized I was going to have a month off at home. And the thing is, as a freelancer, that completely freaks me out. I get stuck in my head. I believe I'm not going to get any more work. I'm basically unemployed and I have a complete mental breakdown. In order to avoid that situation from happening, I figured that it was important for me to find something to do and to put my energy into. And one of the things is, despite the fact that I've worked in FPS games forever, despite the fact that I grew up playing games and shooting guns in games, I am absolutely terrified of guns. They scare me. Real life guns are, are pretty terrifying. I have avoided them at all costs and I thought, that I would use the month of March to learn more about handguns, firearms specifically. And also I wanted to learn a little bit more about what it takes in South Africa to be considered competent with a handgun. I didn't want to buy a gun. I don't want to carry a gun. I just wanted to be in a situation where I could overcome a very big fear that I had. So I started on this journey. I arrived at a shooting range and let me tell you, it is absolutely terrifying coming to a shooting range, specifically as a woman, I found it really overwhelming, which is weird because I've worked in like a male dominated industry my whole, my whole career. But I found the whole place intimidating. And I'm sure that there are a lot of dudes that feel the same way. If you are scared of guns or you know nothing about guns, shooting ranges are scary. Everyone here seems to know what they're doing. It's, it's quite a hard space and you can walk in and feel very intimidated. I've posted some of my shooting journey online since then and I've got a lot of women that have been messaging me saying how scary it is. Same thing, we don't wanna buy guns, we just wanna feel competent around them. I tend to come to a place called Tactical HQ in Johannesburg. Uh, it's a shooting range that might seem a bit scary when you walk in, but everyone here is actually super helpful. They're very welcoming and they wanna help you and they wanna teach you and they wanna learn. I first arrived at the shooting range and the first thing I did is I did not listen to my friends, my partner, anyone who told me that they know guns and they can show me. I went to the range master and I asked them to walk me through the whole process. Everything from safety to how to fire for the first time. The reason I say this is at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if your friend or your boyfriend or whoever else has a gun or tells you they know how to use a gun. I just think that you need to go straight to the professionals so that you don't learn bad habits. You'll be watching this video and you'll see me. I have some bad habits already, which I know of, I'm trying to change. So I think it's just really important from the get go to get the professionals to help you and show you how to do it right. Because of your, your barrel and slide and your sight radius. So if you look here at the differences, just so you can see. The sight radius, number one, is a lot smaller. So you only have this distance to be accurate with. And also these sights are a lot fatter, so it's a self-defense sight. If you're going precision sights, you go a lot thinner on your front plate so that you can see where you're hitting. This one sight radius is almost about three inches longer. So you can get a lot more accurate with this over distance and you have a lot more ballistic velocity coming out of the barrel because it has a lot more barrel to travel down with rifling to turn the bullet. Okay. And it increases velocity there for, or thereafter. And also because sometimes people showing you can be maybe showing off or, or being a, a little bit, they're trying to impress you. That, that can be a bit terrifying. So learn from the get-go. And of course, the most important thing the safety rules, that's all that matters. If someone doesn't tell you the safety rules right from the beginning, run far away from them. Check your gun. So, so I had to pull this so back. So you'll pull it back. Okay, you, you had one had still one left, it's there. fine. And visually inspect your chamber, then magazine out. Magaz slide down. So drop your slide, oh, yeah, drive fire. One. Gun down. Little flinch, but it's fine. It's very important. Remember, always treat a gun like it's live. Keep your finger off the trigger and point it in a safe direction. A safe direction would be anything you don't want to kill, make sure you're not pointing at it. Simple as that. And then I got to shoot a gun for the first time. And it was really scary. Uh, it was absolutely terrifying. I felt, I, I still shake when I'm at the shooting range, but it's been a really empowering journey. So you're getting better with your pistols, definitely. Every time you come, it starts off a little whoop, it's and, then a bit it, nerve and it comes in. No, but it is. So if you get to the shooting range for the first time, I know you see everyone with ear and eye protection. You actually don't have to stress because most shooting ranges will have available for you. I bought my own because it is a bit more comfortable. But obviously, if you're just coming for one time to try it out, they'll help you out and they'll fit everything perfectly.
Another thing to keep in mind is clothing. I'm not someone to police the way you dress, but I've seen girls arrive here with like low cut little tops, open like little flip flops. The reason you don't want to do that is because when you shoot, this casing flies out. And if it goes down your shirt, trust me when I tell you it is going to burn. If it falls on your foot as well, and you're holding a very dangerous weapon, you don't want to be jumping around or getting burns and accidentally dropping your gun or messing around and potentially risking someone's life. So just dress as if, like for me, it's a t-shirt, leggings, like so that you're comfortable, but also just keep that in mind when you arrive. I'm gonna shoot this five rounds. I'm not very good, but I'm practicing and I wanna kind of show you as a noob who's only been a few times, this is, this is what it involves. So this is the, the SIG P365, which I'm actually don't know if it is. This is the SIG P365 XL. It's a gun that I'm really interested in that I've kind of wanted to shoot. We're gonna load it up. Release your mag, always make sure that your gun is safe, empty chamber, and then dry fire just to double check. I'm in South Africa, so I'm going to explain to you the process in South Africa to ultimately be considered competent with a gun, if you like. How it normally works, and I'm hoping I get this all correct, is you need to do your competency. So you buy two books, they've got special codes that are linked to you. One is all the legalities that you need to know about the law in terms of owning and handling a firearm. And the other book gives you the basics of what you need to know around handguns. And then you do a open book test, which is included with the book. So once you've gone through that and you feel competent, you you do the open book test. Obviously it's open book, you can copy the answers. I actually chose to do it a little bit differently. I, I treated it like a proper exam and closed the book because I'm not doing this because I want to buy a gun. I'm doing this because I want to be competent with a firearm. And then I came to the range and practiced shooting, spoke to a lot of people, tried some different firearms to get a feel. I predominantly learned to shoot on something called a Stoga Cougar, or if you know guns, it's also known as a Beretta Cougar. It's very clunky, it's very hard to shoot, but I feel like it was the best way to learn as a beginner. And once I have felt confidence with my shooting, I then went to do my competency. So you've got your open book test that you've done. You arrive at an accredited training center and you do some training. They, they go through a bunch of training with you. And then you need to do a exam where you actually shoot the gun. Good, slight left. Good, hit. Nice, Sam. You shoot five to ten rounds and you have to hit an A4 target. It's actually relatively easy if your aim isn't bad. And once you've done that and shown that you can safely handle the gun, you then do an actual exam. It's not difficult at all because you've done the book. And from there, you're awarded a certificate. It's called a competency certificate, but that does not mean that you're considered competent as yet. You then need to take those certificates and fill out a bunch of documents. With those documents, you also need to get character statements and witnesses. So I think there was three or four from family and friends who've known you for longer than I think it was five years, basically saying that they feel that you're competent to handle a gun and of, uh, you're mentally sound, you're not abusing drugs and alcohol. They fill all of that in. You do all of these documents, put them all together, and you then need to go to the police station and hand that in. The police then go through the documents. It goes through a bunch of different people. They phone some of those statements, those witness statements you have to check that you're competent. And then in a couple of months, they award you a competency. I am yet to put my documents in to the police station, but we're getting there. A lot of you messaged me when I started putting my shooting stuff up saying that you felt scared or that you also felt intimidated. And I get it. You don't want to buy a gun. You don't want to carry a gun. You just want to feel competent with a handgun and, and maybe overcome a fear like I did. So I was thinking that I'm gonna make some content uh, to try and show you from a noob's perspective of starting out and moving through the process. Now that I've started shooting, I have really basic knowledge, but I wanna take it a step further. And I thought that you could come on this journey with me. This is pretty much the first attempt at that content. So if it's something that you like, let me know in the comments. If you wanna see more, let me know. And obviously if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. But if this is something you want, let me know in the comments.